are so many AI tools, so here's a rundown of all of the ones you need to know about for academia and research. Let's go. The first one is SciSpace. Look at this. You log in. This is what it looks like here. We've got all of these things down here you can do. You essentially put your little task in there. You can search papers, write reports, find things, ask Google Scholar, create a presentation, do so many things. Look at all that. They're really trying to become the one-stop shop for academia and research, and that's not all. Elicit is a great way to find research, so let's check it out. So when you ask something like mindfulness and anxiety reduction, you get this, you get all of these studies that you can look at and it gives you these columns where it gives you information about that particular study. Absolutely love it. Go all the way down to the bottom, you get more and more stuff. Elicit is a really great way. You can also do systematic reviews, find papers, create a research report. It is a really great old school, one of the OGs of finding academic papers for research questions. Go check it out. PaperPal really is a powerhouse for academic writing. Once you put it into Word or Google Docs, you get a load of things it can do. It can do plagiarism checks, submission checks, you can also chat with PDFs, and you get so many new things you can do. If you go to create a new document, look at this, you get all of this. No, I don't want that offer, thanks very much. You can rewrite stuff, you can write stuff, you can outline stuff, you can research and cite. It really is all of the really most important steps of academic writing in one tool. Love it. This one is completely free and it's from Semantic Scholar. So we can go here, this is called Aster. This is a new thing where we've got scholarly research assistant. You can find papers, summarize, summarize literature, ooh, blah, 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 and also analyze data, which is coming soon. Love it. So go check it out. I'll be doing a full video on it soon. Thesify is one of my favorite tools for getting feedback about my academic writing. So this is what it looks like, but here's the most important thing. When you upload a research paper, you get this feedback summary. The feedback contains everything you need to do to make your research writing more robust and more like a boring academic paper. So here it is, you can see you get a feedback summary, you get all of the suggested things, the purpose, how to update it. Look, this can be improved, great, just do these things and improve it. A really great way also to digest papers, find opportunities to promote that work, you get resources, collections, oh my god, so much, and it's uh, really reasonably priced, so go check it out. Thesis AI is a great way of generating literature reviews. This is what it looks like. So you go in here, one single prompt, it can go and get references for you, or you can put them in, but this is the output. Look at this, this is one prompt and a little bit of waiting. I've got so many pages, 39 pages, and 38 references all in there, all nicely sort of like uh, explained, synthesized, put together. Love it, so affordable and a great way of saving time if you're trying to get a snapshot of a research field. Jenny AI is a great academic writer, so once you're actually in there and writing, you go here, oh look, look at this, this is what I wanna write, and then you can put in references, citations, you can also chat as well, so let's get rid of these document settings. There are loads of things you can do in here, and the great thing about this is that uh, it will vomit out the next stuff for you. So if you uh, just wait here, it says the neurotoxic effects, and I don't wanna accept it, yeah, let's accept, oh no, I didn't, I didn't push the right button, accept that, great, it's even referenced that paragraph, it's so very easy, it's an auto writer, a little bit controversial in the old university circles, but a really great way of making sure that you are covering the most important aspects of a research field in your document. Yeah, I want to do that, except love it. And you can see that one's reference as well. It's referencing every single sentence as it vomits out the information. You just need to steer it a little bit and you'll end up with some great results. Yomu AI and Jenny AI are pretty much the same. So here you can see um, you get all of this stuff here. And if you just sort of like start writing, it will spill out information for you to accept or not accept or turn off referral banner. Yeah, don't show me again. All right, then start typing or press that for shortcuts or press shift and that shift and tab for AI continuation. Let's try that, shift tab. Okay, there we are, continuous stuff. It doesn't spill out as much as uh, Jenny AI. It doesn't cite it as you go. You have to do that yourself. But overall, this is a really great tool for generating that first kind of draft in an academic way. Yes, auto writers, do you like them? Let me know. Semantic Scholar, absolutely free way of finding research papers, really simple and easy to use. You go here, click in there, put a simple question, do beards grow on trees? No, the answer is, but ultimately here you can search many millions of papers across all fields of science and find all of the information you want to find for free. Semantic Scholar, go check it out. Litmaps is a really great way of generating a research map and this is what I mean. So you go in here, you put a seed paper and then you get all of this. The X and Y axis can be changed, which I really like about this tool. And 
And uh, yeah, you can see that all of these papers are linked to these ones here. You can see I've got this more recently published, more citations. That means anything up here, I would be really interested. Anything over here, more recently published. Anything up here is highly cited. Yes, 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 love it. Put in a seed paper and see what comes up for your research. Check out Litmaps. If you want to find out about a research field, you could add over to Research Rabbit. This is what it looks like when you log on. You can see I've put in some papers and then you get all of this. You can look for similar work, earlier work, all of that sort of stuff. Why is that not working? Let's refresh it. And uh, ultimately, it is a way of getting loads and loads of different um, uh, information about papers. So you can click here, these authors, and we can click here, vomit, 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 it vomits out stuff. Look, published work by that person. Yeah, I want to know about this. Linked content. Let's have a look. Oh, other linked content? No, no. Anyway, it's loads and loads of stuff that you can explore. It's really a great way to kind of explore a research field in an open sandbox. Choose your own adventure, literature review. Yes. Another tool you should know about is consensus. Type in a research question and get a yes or no answer. So here you can see I've typed in, can saline gargling <laughs> reduce the incidence of upper respiratory infections? Then it says yes. There are that many papers that say yes, this one's that say possibly, and none that say no. And then you get all of this information afterwards. The pro search is even better. So if you want to know what a research field says about a particular research question or a thing that pops into your mind, I even use it for just like simple requests. The other day someone was like oh is that true i was like i'll ask consensus absolutely love it go check it out for yourself consensus very easy type in your question here choose what you want pro quick or anything else yes you want to find papers right so head over to something like sintio sinitio sinito sign sign anyway it looks like that but you can go in here ask anything ask a quick question ask a deep question you can even add sources and you can go here what are the latest developments in machine learning and it will go away and produce an answer for you a really great way of touching base with different uh, questions in your research field and get real answers from real papers. And you can see here, it's generated the sources, now it's spilling out the information. Yes, Cintio, love it. And so this is another one-stop place for all of the research tasks you may want to do. Now, they're improving day by day, it's a little bit lackluster on some of the tools, but here you can see you've got AI writing, you can search papers, create a citation map, diagram tools, it's so much you can do in this and the AI writer is particularly uh, interesting because it is just a really great way of generating, uh, like you can see this is a literature review that I generated, and then I can also sort of like add to it, remove it, you can change the referencing style, um, and then well, we've got new query AI writer, let's go down here, default project, how does the brain process information, here you can see we get all of the sources that this uh, sort of like uh, answer generated, and uh, overall it's just a really great uh, tool for researchers, if you're not sure what tool to use, You've got a load in here. This one in SciSpace, I think SciSpace is my favorite at the moment, but this one is still a very powerful tool that you should know about. Anara.com. This is what Anara.com looks like when you go in. There's a load of things you can do. You can chat with files, chat with folders, outline literature review, create notes, search for papers, summarize papers. You can learn and there's so much more. Look at all that. Create flashcards. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks very much. So overall, this is just a great tool. You can see here, you can also chat with information that you upload. So if there's a paper that you're not quite sure how it works, and you're a little bit confused by it, add it to your library, go in here, start understanding, research and write about anything. Real simple interface and overall another great sort of like general tool for finding out a bit more about your research area. Gatsby AI is another tool that I found recently and you download it for your Windows machine or your Mac machine but ultimately you can do a load of different really sort of like niche academic tasks but ultimately the thing I really liked here, why don't I say ultimately so much, I've noticed that in other videos, stop it. All right then, so research paper generation is something I was particularly impressed with. You can now generate a research paper draft from a Word document of ideas and results. So I really liked that output and uh, it is a really great way of finding uh, writing and finding patterns and also creating smarter innovation. It gives you ideas, there's lots of features, idea discovery, scholarly writing, patent writing, and uh, yeah, go check out my other video where I do this tool in detail. Go check it out. Site AI is another tool that you need to know about. You go in here, look, very simple. You just ask a question of the assistant. You can search for papers. You also get a table from a question. Assistant is really cool. You can also change the settings for all of the different things that you want the assistant to do. You can see it's very, very much 
directed in the academic way and uh, yeah great way of finding out things about a research field very similar to literature discovery in SciSpace in other tools but if you're looking for another tool to find research papers or answer a semantic question site is your man or girl I think it's non-gendered anyway site's your thing Explain paper is really cool. All you have to do is upload a paper. And the one thing I love about it is all you have to do is highlight a certain area and head over to here to explain. And you say, you know what? I want to explain like a middle schooler or a five year old. Let's go five year old. You click explain and you'll get a summary of that area as if it you were to be explained by or to a five year old. Yes really easy way. I love that the fact that even though we are academics, we can go, you know what, I just want this explained to me like I'm a child. You can sit there with your cup of hot chocolate and your cookies and go, mm, thanks very much, AI. Or thanks very much, AI. <laughs> no. If your academic writing needs polishing, Writeful is a really great tool. You go in here, you upload your paper, this is what it looks like, and then you get all of this information. It's like Grammarly, it's like spell checking, it's like paraphrasing for academics on steroids. Super like it, go check it out, Writeful. Scholarcy is a really great tool if you've got something you're not quite sure what it says. So you upload a research paper here and it will give you all of this. Look, you can see you've got important points, important points from this thing that was uploaded, this paper. Then we get a snapshot of all of the areas. We get analysis, original text. You can see this is what was originally uploaded. But ultimately, Scholarcy is a really great way of finding out more details about a research paper without being overwhelmed. Yes. Another research tool you can use for perfecting your academic writing is Trinker. Look, I've put some academic writing here and it's already found some issues with it. So here you've got loads of things you can do. Grammar, paraphraser, check for consistency and reports. And this is a great way of making sure that your academic writing is very much going to impress your academic colleagues. All right then, Trinker, love it. Trinker is another literature mapping tool, but there is something in here I've not seen anywhere else, and that's the ability to link two papers. So you put in two DOIs, and here I've got this one to this one. It'll tell you how it's connected. So you can see that this is the first paper, this is the last paper, and they're connected through all of these papers. There's a minimum of three hops, a maximum of three hops. There's that many paper searches, 31 paths found through this literature jungle in 34 paths in a paper. So just a really great way of connecting two papers and finding everything in the middle. So if you've got two review papers, everything in the middle you want to know about. Yes. Connected papers is another literature mapping tool. So connected papers in, you put in a question, a seed uh, paper or a URL of a paper and you'll end up with this. One thing I like about this that not other tools do really well are this prior works and derivative works. So you could put in a paper, ask for derivative works and look for more recent papers that are based on the paper that interests you. You could also do it with prior works to go back in time. See ya. Petal is another tool you should know about. So once you sign in, you get all of these things. You can upload and import your documents. You get your documents, and then you can do things with them. You can turn it into an AI table. You can do multi-document chat, AI create. If we click on something here, you can see we get an abstract or description, all of the details. We can ask AI about this uh, this content. So if you've got a load of different uh, files that you want to interrogate. Uh, with AI, you can do that in Petal, but something like Notebook LM will also do it for free. Um, but overall, it's something I don't really use very often, but go check it out because it's probably something that some of you will find interesting. Petal. Hmm. Sourcely. The one thing I love about Sourcely is you can put in something like this, this little paragraph here and say find sources and then it will go away and looks for sources. You can see I've not paid for this one, naughty me, but in the free sort of like world you get at least access to all of these papers. Now I don't want to pay, thank you very much, but if that is something that you want to do, put in claims and look for sources that support that claim or reject that claim, you can use Sourcely. Sourcely is a really great tool if you are trying to find sources to support a claim. Done. The next tool you want to know about is Logically. Logically.app has got all of these things you can do. It's got document writer, reference manager, research assistant. So if you go here, look, you can create a little file and then ask questions with uh, AI about that thing that you're writing, like, oh, generate me an outline, that sort of stuff. And also sort of like interrogate, make this one better, paraphrase this. So it's a great way of having an AI tool right next to what you're writing, but other tools also do that. You've got a reference manager, which looks like this. You can upload stuff. Um, and then down here, we get research assistant where you can go in and ask questions about the research you uploaded. Logically is a great way to connect ideas, go check it out.
Seamless for Science is another tool that you may want to use. Look, it's got all of these things. It's got literature reviews, scholarships, grants, essay helper, my podcast. So a lot of this stuff you can do elsewhere, but ultimately here we've got essay helper and grants, which I've not really seen in any other tools. Grants, you see, it really is granular. You can actually put in the sorts of grants you're looking for, but you've got also agencies and application types and all of that sort of stuff. So ultimately, this is a really great thing if you are looking for grants, essay helping, and it also does literature reviews, but there's lots of others that do that as well. But it may just be another little tool that you may want to explore. Go check out Seamless. Paper Guide is another tool you should know about. Paper Guide here has got all of these features. So it's got AI search, literature review, AI writer, reference manager, deep research, get research backed answers, find and analyze research papers, streamline literature reviews, manage references, write documents. I've not been able to log in right now for some reason, but this is another tool you should know about. Maybe it sits alongside something like SciSpace, but it's not as popular, but it may be popular with you. Go check it out. The last tool you should know about is Julius AI. This is what it looks like here. All you have to do is put in some information, some data that you've got and you want to interrogate. So I uploaded some data here. And then I said, I'm writing an article about PhD dissertations. Um, and then it sort of like answered my questions. Find out some interesting things about these people that don't finish a PhD. And you can see down here, it gave me loads of information. It created itself. It created lots of code that I would never ever look at. But ultimately, here it is. Look, here's the attrition rates of various uh, different PhDs. PhD, chemical engineering, highest attrition rate, civil engineering, chemical engineering, all in here. And uh, it created really nice uh, graphs for me that uh, allowed me to see what my data was actually telling me. So overall, this is a really great tool for interrogating data if you don't have access to other large language model tools. Julius AI is like having a little tiny uh, data and ana analysis in your pocket that's like, oh, this is the most important stuff. Love it. If you like this video, go check out this one where I talk about the 100% free AI tools that every researcher should know about.